Hi guys, before we begin this new video on this is why I'm still wearing the Mickey Mouse shirt, um, funny thing, um, and I'm kind of going to wrap it up here, um, the video for Kung Fu Panda 3 accidentally, um, uh, it was my mistake, uh, I kept doing the, uh, taking the 10 second pause and while using, um, basically my camera or cell phone, while doing it, it sometimes can make it, uh, fuck up and get frozen. So, instead of redoing the whole thing over again, I'm going, before I begin, uh, the next review, which you can already see the title of the video down below, um, I'm going to quickly just get through, um, the Funko Pop rating and my final thoughts on Kung Fu Panda Trilogy, just to give you guys my own, uh, opinions of what of how the films measure up to me, uh, if that makes sense. So, we're just going to <clears throat> get through all of these, um, all of these in a the total, and then I hope that you guys will enjoy, um, the following next review of this. So, technically, see this as a part two. Um, uh, it was my apology to my stupid fault. I should have came back to the camera to talk beforehand. Um, but by the time I was, the video was frozen, and the only way to get it was to close the camera app. So, things happen, man. YouTube is a great, is a great thing for me to do. I love doing it. I like, I, I love you guys, you know, my subscribers and everything. Love interacting with you and stuff. But yeah, man, sometimes this happens. Uh, so please enjoy the second part from the Kung Fu Panda review and retrospective, and, um, I will see you guys with the review of what the title of the video says. I'm not going to review it here, but, uh, please enjoy my following retrospective and review of Kung Fu Panda the trilogy, and I'm going to wrap it up as quick as I can. Kung Fu Panda is a terrific and wonderful <clears throat> animated animation style of film, and especially getting Kung Fu Panda 4 was definitely well worth it in the pro in the process, and it still is a great and amazing uh, martial arts film that I think anyone and anyone would be very happy to have in their own style uh, collection, especially for me, personally, I love having this in my collection, and I cannot wait to add Kung Fu Panda 4 to this collection. It has a star they had very many talented voice actors in it, a star-studded cast, great and fantastic writing, brilliant directing, great and talented and wonderful music by the amazing Hans Zimmer, who, yes, did the music for Christopher Nolan's Batman trilogy, or the Dark Knight trilogy, and he is such a fantastic music maker. So, all three of these films are really super, they're worth it, and they're ones that you can look up to and go, and just smile and go, yeah, that's what I need in my life. So, all three Kung Fu Panda films is getting one honorary <clears throat> Funko Pop rating. Yeah, I know, you probably were expecting me to do one for each three, but nope, they all deserve this great rating. So, my Funko Pop rating of Kung Fu of the Kung Fu Panda trilogy is all going to be a Superman, as they are great, super, and they're something that you can look up to and smile every time you see them. <laughs> Alright, guys, that was gonna do it for... The Kung Fu Panda Trilogy. Let me know what you think about the Amazing Trilogy. Which one is your favorite? Personally, I like Kung Fu Panda 2 uh, more than the than the others, just because of the story and also the great villain of Shen, voiced by Gary Oldman. But that's just me. I'd like to hear your feedback and opinion, and I cannot wait until I review Kung Fu Panda 4, possibly next year. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm really nervous. I want you to keep you on. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me at at Twitter. <clears throat> Follow me at Twitter, the link in the description down below. And this has been a Lazy Universe. <clears throat> and this has been a Lazy Universe re movie review or a triple review or whatever that I call that I call it. And thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, take care. Idiot! Aren't you forgetting something? You know.
something very important that you should be already looking at or doing right now. I mean, this is technically a part two video in a sense, but you still have a review to do, asshole. So, what the fuck do you think that you were, that you were doing? Get your ass back here, because you still have something that to review that the people have chosen for the last YouTube subscriber poll. They, wait, what? Ah! Why am I still here and dressed? This is so confusing. Oh yeah, that's right. This is still another review, except, um, I'm not dressed or prepared for it. Um, thank you! He's an asshole. Uh, so anyways, <clears throat> just a while. So anyways, I think that, uh, I should get into the proper attire for you for a minute. Uh, just give me a moment. Ah, there we go. Perfect. Greetings, geeks and nerds, and ladies and nerds, and I'm nerdy, and it's time for another YouTube subscriber poll for part two of, of this. Uh, again, if you've seen the apology in the, in the beginning, I apologize again. So, <clears throat> anyhow, you guys have pet for a second when whoops, I Zombie Season 2, and yeah, I can definitely see why. As even I was surprised when I reviewed it, maybe I got people into watching it more. Um, or the set out that review and think that this is very interesting of a series, which it is, then congratulations that you guys have picked this one. And I gotta say, I only own the first two seasons, but I'm keeping my eyes open and curiosity open if I can ever find the rest of the season, since I believe that there are, like, some on so many seasons. As this one does indeed end on a cliffhanger, same to season one, but I will try avoiding spoiler type of territory. Uh, that's why when I reviewed season one so long ago, I was uh, trying to avoid spoilers for people that really do like this, um, that really did want to check out this series, so you can check it out yourself. So we're going to jump into season two, but there's not so many much of changes with the cats and characters, so I'm not going to count down the cats and characters again, as they are the same, and Rose McGowan is still quite exceptional and amazing in the role of, <clears throat> of, um, Olivia Moore. So, let's just skip that and get that out of the way, and again, if you're wondering, yes, when she eats the brains, it's still the wonderful manifest of a, of a series. So, let's jump into this and see how we how we do this. Let's we'll take a bite out of the brain, consume a persona, and fight off zombies and other criminals in the mastermind world of Seattle, Washington. This is my review of the Season 2 of our zombies. After the aftermath of Season 2, we finally realized that Robbie had finally made a cure, and Major suddenly knows that there are zombies in the world, and Liv turns him into a zombie to save his life. And tragically, she gave Major the cure in order to save his life. But there's a fallback to the cure that she has used on him, and Walter would have turned Major to be, or turned him out to be. But there's still a city to protect, as Olivia lives more, much that we realize what is more important, her lovely relationship, or the fair city that she has sworn her duty to protect. Or at the same time, she had to avoid any and all cause with making love with Major, as there is a dark twist that actually ends up happening due to her zombieism. Tragically in this series, and it's pretty awesome to, that they explained it this way, that because Liv is a zombie now, she can't have kids. She can't even have sex. This series basically explains that since that thanks to her zombieism that happened at the boat party from season one, suddenly now Olivia and Liv Moore cannot even make love even with another zombie, as it proved to be too fatal. As if she had sex with a human, the human will suddenly catch the zombie disease and end up becoming a zombie. It's sad and tragic when basically it kind of feels like in a way that maybe I haven't read the comic book so I have no idea if this is in the comics or not. But it does feel like that maybe Rob Thomas and um the other executive producer, Diane, I forget her last name, really wanted to make it wanted to make Olivia Live more very iconic of a character and basically making her an A type of character 
or somebody that can kind of relate to it in a sense, even on the screen for people that go through AIDS and HIV and everything, it is wonderful. And it really got me to feel even more bad for her when I suddenly realized this in season two going, oh my lord, she can't have kids. She, you know, or, well, she can't make love. And, and it's like, sure, sex is not important in a relationship, hardly sometimes. But it's nice to know that it is there for you and your partner, girlfriend, wife, husband, whatever have you. And the fact that she can't do it, in a sense, but they find creative ways to get around it, however. But the fact that they can't do it really makes you feel, like, bad. Like, oh, but this is somebody that she really loves and cherishes, and she wants to spend her life with this person. But yet, at the same time, she can't do this with him, otherwise she will basically kill him. It's very sad and very traumatizing and also very traumatic, but very also relatable to some peop to people who have AIDS or HIV that want to protect the people that they love, so they kind of, in some categories, do the same thing. So it's nice to see that there is that, that point where people can look up to this woman and see her kind of, and relate to her and go, yeah, I can relate to this, to this amazing woman. But above all, while Blaine does return in this series, there is another villain that has appeared in season one, but because he's not very much in the series until season two, and also dies in season two, TV shows, he actually made his debut appearance for more so in season two, and that is the amazing Steven Weber who plays Von Du Clark. As I compared Liv and Major to that of Superman and Lois, Von Der Clark is definitely their version or their capability of being Lex Luthor, an evil madman who would stop at nothing to get what he wants, power, money, and everything else above. As we also find out, it was Du Clark that is the reason for the zombie outbreak that's happening in Washington, D.C., and that with him, zombies will go on rampant. And I'm glad to admit that Steven Weber definitely can capture a douchebag very, very well, as you will learn and love to hate this man. And I'm happy to admit that for any of those mutants or gorehounds, that yet, the end of the series becomes an all-out bloodbath and an all-out zombie apocalypse, which you probably wanted. <laughs> Who doesn't love zombies? And also, while I was trying to make plans, and I'm still trying to make out a schedule for Lazy Wing videos from the end of September until all October, this was almost going to be on there since the ending is more or less basically that of Halloween themed. And also the series as a total is basically Halloween themed, having the more be a zombie. But it's more of a superhero zombie series, so... Even for those of you that do like more of the horror variety, you should still check this series out. But I'm glad that I have spent my time in reviewing it now, because I know that you guys are going to really enjoy it. Season 2 of I, Zombie is a wonderful, fresh and unique start upon the, wor upon the world, and it really has its mark in history, and also it has its mark on pop culture. Yes, Rose McGowan was a Power Ranger before she was a zombie, but in truthfulness, as you guys that didn't really enjoy, <coughs> that didn't really enjoy Power Rangers or BMO that much, she much more made her pet impact on history while being that of an adorable zombie, and always it is a sure and wonderful to see her become an absolute delight whenever that she takes on a persona in this, as Rose McGowan does it beautifully in this film. With also the cliffhanger of this series, uh, basically of Olivia Livmore have two choices. Will she join Team Zombie and basically become a zombie and start a zombie apocalypse with the other zombies? I feel like I said zombie too much. Or will she still be the human protector that we know her to be and still solve crimes and try to figure out what's going on for the rest of the world? I sadly do not have the answer, but many of you do if you have seen Season 3 of iZombie. But as it stands, you should still check out our zombie. It's a wonderful series. It's comedic. It's funny. It's also can sometimes be outright and downright gory. It's a wonderful, terrific series based on a wonderful comic book series by Vertigo that I've never read. 
But I'm still interested to check this series out, and maybe at some point in the future I will officially check out the comic books and give it a review sometime. But have yourself a watch for something new if you want something that's new and exciting, and if you're a fan of superheroes, or if you're just a go around looking for something unique and different to watch, then I highly recommend checking out iZombie, whether it be Season 2, Season 1, Season 2, or both. Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me at Twitter, which is the description down below. And check out iZombie Season 2 if you can. And let me know if I should still continue in reviewing the iZombie series when and if I can pick them up. So thank you guys so much for watching. I believe in your vote. I believe in your to keep looking on. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me at Twitter, which is in the description down below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. As the YouTuber poll vote is not over with yet, we gotta go with one that had sort of the least amount of votes and something nostalgic for all of you guys. Yes, Kung Fu Panda and iZombie are pretty nostalgic for a lot of you people, but there is one series that definitely is nostalgic to me, as it was a series that I grew up with and still do love to this day, as it's very unique and comedic. But, we'll talk more about that next time. Thank you guys so much for watching this Radio Universe review. I believe you it. I believe you Keep it on. And as always, guys, thanks you so much for watching, and until next time.